Now, Mr. Sledge. Yes. We we talked about how you're with a lady with the initials DB now, correct? Yes. Okay. Before DB, back in 2015, was there a young lady that you were involved with? Yes. Okay. And what was that young lady's name? Uh, Trivia Smith. Okay. And what did you call her? Treva. Treva? Yeah, Treva. Treva. Okay. Do you see Treva in DS-36? She at the top of the photo. Okay. And do you see yourself in DS-36? Right there to the left. Okay. And who's the other gentleman in the bottom right on DS-36? That's Kale. Okay. Kelvin Watts? Yes. Okay. Did you, do you recall when you started, what, how would you describe in respectful terms your relationship with Miss Entrevia Smith? How did I, at, at the time? Yes. It was great. You cared about her? Right. Um, would you call her your girlfriend? Yes. Okay. When did you start dating, we'll say, Miss Smith? I've been known since probably like, I've been dating her since probably like 2009, but as the relationship, probably like 2000, 2013. Okay, so by 2015, you'd been in a relationship with her for at least two years, maybe longer. Yes. And you've known her for eight years at that point. Yes. Nine years. Okay. Yes. At some point, did she start dating another, start dating another man? From my understanding, yes. Okay, and who was that other man? Kevin Watt. Okay, and do you know, was she dating, and I'm not trying to embarrass you, was she dating you first or Kelvin Watts first? Me. Okay. Do you, do, you, do you know from your vantage point when she started dating Kelvin Watts? I don't know at the time when she started dating. Okay. And when you found out that she was dating Kelvin Watts, did you immediately break up with her and say, no, I don't have anything to do with you? Or did you keep having a relationship with her? We kept coming, sir. Okay. Did the fact that you and Mr. Watts were simultaneously dating Ms. Smith, did that create problems between you and Mr. Watts? Yes. Okay. Did that lead to an internet back and forth between you and Mr. Watts? Yes. At some point in 2015, did you hear that Mr. Watts was looking for you? Yes. And was all that revolving around your relate your rivalry over Antrevia Smith? Yes. You remember when the state played a video of you and Mr. Zachary with guns? Yes. Okay. You said it was childish, right? Yes. And at this point, Your Honor, I would ask for the state to publish what's 441 Y. It's either 441 Y or 395 Y. 441 Yankee. Thank you. All right. Um, could you publish? We ain't really going back to we'll back. We'll no nigga. We'll you little bitch ass nigga. I know who we hate. Yeah, fuck you, nigga. Care. Who else is? Nigga. Pop, 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 nigga. They said I ain't really going back. Okay, thank you. All right. Back in 2015, were you a little bit emotional about the situation? Yes. Okay. And in that video, you. 
That was posted on the internet, correct? Yes. Did you post it on the internet? I think me or Zachary posted one of us posted. Okay. The, you, you intended for Mr. Watts to see the video? Yes. And in the video, you said you heard that Mr. Watts was looking for you, right? Yes. Okay. And you're in that video with guns? Yes. And you're in that video with Mr. Zachary? Yes. And that's Quindaria Zachary, right? Yes. Lil D from Cleveland? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, and that is someone that, that you have known since he was little, right? Yes. You grew up together in the Capitol Homes neighborhood in Atlanta. Yes. Apartments. Yes. How far did you grow up from him? How far did I grow up? That was a horrible question. Mm. You guys were both living in the same apartment complex, right? Yes. Now, you're older than him. Yes. And he was a little boy at that time, right? Yes. Okay. Would you see him every day? No, I wouldn't see him every day. How often would you see him? Mm, when I used to walk past his door to get to the basketball court, he'll be on the porch. Okay. Are you particularly close with him? Or at were the, you back in 2015? At that time? Yes. No. In 2015, you weren't particularly close? Oh, 2015, we were very close. Okay. And in that video, did you ever hear anyone say YSL? No. Did you ever hear anyone say gang? No. Did you ever, did you hear anyone say on behalf of? No. Okay. Did anyone tell you to make that video? No. That was your decision? Yes. And you made that video because you were mad at Kelvin Watts because he was running his mouth? Yes. Because y'all were dating the same woman? Yes. So let's go back to factual acknowledgement three, which deals with this video. It says, again, it says, while associated with YSL and to support and express loyalty to YSL, did anything about making that video and, and talking junk to Kelvin Watts, did any of that video have to do anything with supporting and expressing loyalty to YSL? No. Okay. And then later on in Factual Acknowledgement 3, it says, and where, wherein, on behalf of YSL, was there anything about that video that was done on behalf of YSL? No. 